and instead of doing my normal update video, I decided to just show off these two mods. One of which we got, uh, well I guess you could say it's a uh, redo on. So we're going to go here real quick. And, uh, oh wait, sorry. Is that the wrong one? Yeah, okay, that, that's the right setup. And Venom Dose. It's for your first ability at with Saren. And it says spores aug uh, augment hold to cast will grant all allies within a 15 meter uh, radius an additional 100% corrosive damage to their attacks for 40 seconds. You, and then so I was like, okay, cool, cool. And I wanted to combine it with Toxic Lash. Create 5 meter toxic clouds dealing 300 uh, toxin for 12 seconds with every kill. Damage is twice as strong with melee weapons. And on top of Toxic Lash already ability of adding effect and doing more damage with the melee weapon. And against level 155 heavy gunners as seen right oh where they go. Hold on, I want to make sure you see it. <laughs> so you know it's marked. There it is. Heavy gunners. Alright. They're all heavy gunners, right? So, wa wa just watch. Energy real quick. I'm gonna cast the hold. This is awesome. Look how fast this is so done. Johnson, get over here. Let's go. Don't care. Bye. Have fun being deleted. Ridiculous, right? Just ridiculous. Make sure they're gone. And that's just one of the augments that got changed. We got a few other ones too. Um, basically, a lot of the ones: uh, Ember, Oberon, um, Bolt. Uh, I'm missing somebody. And so, uh, another one. But anyway, I just wanted to sh show that off. <laughs> and this is something I literally did in five minutes in terms of builds. I don't, I usually, when I run Saren, I usually run, is it this one? It's the one with the 130 efficiency. Yeah, so rejuvenation, and then, you know, you spore, you blow up a whole room. But if you, and I always wanted to do melee, but with Toxic Glass by itself, it didn't really work. And I had this mod set up, and I just took one mod out and put this in here, and boom. Now I'll show you the melee weapon real quick, Castle War. I don't usually use it on Saren, that's why it's in a different color. But, um, I wanted something that had fast and had a nice status so you see status for 56 now this one has a ribbon so the attack speed the melee damage and finisher damage are higher but you lose some crit but you know it's kind of perfect for the castle war because you know it's mostly a status weapon now to be fair to the mod and everything like that I want to do it without something that has a ribbon on it so Let's see. I uh, need another status weapon. Um, yeah, let's do Cobra and Crane, All right? Just and we're gonna show it off real quick. There's no um, Riven mod on here. This is just condition overload, healing return. There you go, right here. Vicious Frost, Riven Scourge, Gallier uh, Rush, Prime Pressure Point, Berserker, Drifted Contact, right? Viral damage. Let's do this again. Ability. Got this. Twenty heavy gunners. Now 
we got the full dessert going on. And yeah. Still kind of Obviously, you don't hit as much with a sword and shield. But, yeah. Still ridiculous. On how fast this is getting good. These heavy guys now. Now I gotta see this as something else. Kill those guys real quick. Alright. Let's put this on. Oh, let's do some dual blades. Um. Oh, Chris, there's a. Yeah, those are crits. Let's see. Um. Ooh, the Prisma Dual Cleaver. Those are crits. That's right. Damn it. Um. Let's. Oh, Twin Concourse? Yes, yeah, status. Alright, cool. These Now, these ones have a ribbon. This is just extra melee damage and heat. I don't think I have a build without it, right? No. Okay. Just want to show that real quick. Let's do it again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. the Redeemer Prime. Let's get a gun blade up in here. And when, yeah, we're going to do the Zenistar too. <laughs> cool. This is dope. Alright, this is Blast. Um, This doesn't have a ribbon either. Shut that off real quick. Boom. Condition Overload, Healing Return, Shatter Impact, stuff like that, right? Alright. I know I'm not going over every single mod. But it's more. I was. This is more for what these two mods can do for you. Progress. Hold on a second. Go. Let's now we're gonna try Zenistar. Sit him up in. Uh, let's see. Um, this this one. This is the corrosive blast. There's the combo one and gas. Let's try that with gas. Damage a whole room, sure. 
but unfortunately, doing it like that doesn't do much. Now let's do... Now I know I didn't do any combos with that one. But that's because it's not good for that. It's really slow. Like, uh, this is 0.667 attack speed on that one. So let's go into the combo one. This is radiation. And now you get 1.46. Big difference. Way more fun. Simulate. The other ones are way better. Alright. Let's kill them all. I think I'm on. Uh, let's say this like a theory crafting episode. Yeah, that makes sense. Kind of mess around with some stuff that I like ideas and things. Let's try the wolf sledge next. That's. This one is radiation. Also, no ribbon. I don't even know if ribbons exist for wolf sledge. I'm guessing probably, yeah. Okay, let's so see the build real quick. I'm not going over everything. Like I said, it's more about these two mods. So I'm just seeing stuff you can do with it. This is fun. Alright. Definitely overpowered. But fun as hell. Um, let's see. A weapon I was thinking of. Oh, let's try some Zaws. Uh, let's see. This one. This is crit based. This is also a crit based one. Um, this one is a status one. Ah. Uh, Oh, this is one I did for uh, Naros. Yeah. Okay. On this. Okay, let me turn Christian Overload. Viral. Let's see how this goes.
so far. <laughs> Do a saw. Holy crap. Alright, let's see something else. Um well, you know what? I haven't tried a whip. Let's uh or a ninja. Maybe I'll do an Akandi too. Um, where's the Amphrax? That that's crit based, I know. But I want to try it with something that's not. That doesn't have a whole lot of status. Okay, this has got maiming strike. So let's try it with something that's crit based on a whip. <laughs> you got maiming strike. Oh, holy shit. This is worse too. This is beautiful. I'm getting dudes way over there. The prime reach. Okay. Okay. So basically, it pretty much seems like everything pretty much works. Obviously, there's stuff that's better than other things. But holy crap. Um, let's do... Now, these aren't my favorite type of weapons, but the... Uh, what do you call them? The, um, glaives, yeah. I'm not a big fan of glaives. Let's try a glaive out. Man, this looks cool as hell. Oh, you know what the power reminds me of? If you watch the dub version of Yu-Gi-Oh, the episode where yu gi fights uh, that uh, magician and the dark magician, like the saw blades that the four kids decide. Touch them and you go to the shadow realm. Yeah, it reminds me of that. Not as effective as some of the other things, but it looks good. <laughs> Alright. What else can we try before we call this a day? Um. Ah, what about a fist weapon? Most of these are crit, though, right? Oh, no. Oh, this is a Kogaki. Yeah, Kogaki's actually our uh, status base. Alright. Forgot about that. Haven't used Kogaki Prize in a long time. <clears throat> Let's, uh, right here we go. Alright. Probably not the best thing, just because you're only really getting one and the other guys can still shoot you. You're probably going to use your multi line if you do it with this weapon. But it's okay. It's a slow start. I bet once I get it going, pretty stupid. But yeah, not bad. Not bad. I 
trying to think if there's any other. There's machetes, but I don't have a good one. Or a build finish. Okay, let's do... Now, this is crit, right? No, this is status. The other one's crit. Alright, let's try the Ninkandis. The new Chuckles. Michelangelo's. Guys, right next to you. Shit. So far, I gotta say, Twin Concords were quite ridiculous. We did a few different things, and then, like, for regular stuff, but Zaws, yeah, that seemed like that's the way to go. So, yeah, alright. So, um, yeah, give me some more ideas to uh, what we can do with this to make it even better. I don't, like, I haven't messed with, like I said, I literally put this Saren build, and I'll put it up on screen and let it sit there. Up on screen real quick. Um, like I literally put this together like five minutes because most of the other stuff was kind of done, and it was just literally adding putting Venom Dose in this build. So let me know what you guys think about making that better. Um, I'm not sure what else I can do with the Zaw. The Zaw is pretty damn impressive. Obviously, max out like healing return or something, prime pressure point because you're gonna get more damage. But uh, let me know what you guys are doing with this combo. Cause this is kind of this is kind of cool. I'm definitely going to probably do another video, um, one on more of this, and try to find the right spot for it. But uh, this is definitely something interesting. Oh, you know what? That actually, you know what? I just also thought this works with regular weapons as well, and I didn't try that out. So before we go, and then also just in case you don't know how to get them, I'll uh, go back to the opener. Show you how to See what it looks like. So you can use everything. Look at that! Holy crap! You just get tired of mashing B. Pull down right trigger. My second trigger on here. Oh, the box. <laughs> That's without the spores. Oh, the dude got erased! This time, I want to see the group, the big group of cars. Just in case you get tired, or the, or you get like a corpus, um. Freaking shield, dude. Like, nope, screw you. We wanna switch that real quick. And just end your whole career. Oh my goodness. Alright, so let me go back to the orbiter. <laughs> that opens up a whole nother thing if you could do it with freaking secondaries. Cause then you could put it up with the um the ones you get from uh Orvalis, man. And make uh oh god. And build a secondary toward this too. Oh, we're gonna have fun with this. <laughs> we gonna have fun with this. Alright.
So, if, just in case you don't know how to get, like, how to buy them, like, yourself without worrying about things. First, you gotta join a syndicate. You go to this little console, you should be able to do that. Um, I think, I don't know if there's a tutorial or not going over it, but anyway. So, your humanity, we also you can also look at the, what they offer Tenno. before joining. So, let's see, Saren's. Um, I don't know. I can't. I forget which one has Saren. Oh, it's for good. This is Oberon. I don't think it's Red Veil. Vale. I think you it's the other one, but we'll double check. The fire. Oh no, they do. Okay, so there you go. Boom, and they're gonna cost twenty-five thousand standing. Uh, once you get to rank. What is it? Five? Double check. Yeah, rank five. I can't show the rank, unfortunately. But, um. You, uh. You get the max amount of Exalted. And you get it to 132,000. And you can get it passively. Just put the, you know, the little symbol you see, like, the on the chest right here. That's the Red Veil one. And you can just you put that on, and there you go. Boom. They also have missions you can do each day for extra standing to go on top of your uh, your standing cap right chair yeah. look for this thing right there boom and boom that's how you get them you can also buy them straight up from other players don't pay anything more than 15 blood they're not worth more than that someone else is telling you 25 don't do it you can get them from 10 to 15 easy and if you got clan members, they probably just do it to you for free. So if you're in a clan, just, hey, you know, can I get some of those, you know, mods from the Syndicate mods? And they'll probably just hook you up. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, let me know what you think of what we can do to make this better. Because I'm going to mess around with it a little bit and see what else I can do. Uh, what other weapons will synergize with this really well. But, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what else we can do what else you're doing. Like, um, when it comes to this stuff, I don't go a whole lot to other build videos. So, yeah, feel free if you, you know, like, this guy did a good idea. I'll check it out. But when I, I'd like to keep my stuff my own thing, you know what I mean? First, and then expand and use some other ideas from other people later. But try to be, while trying to be original, Operator, you know what I mean? Not just, that? oh, it's let me just go to pick a YouTuber, Cosmic copy paste, you know, it's not fun doing that. It's always fun seeing what someone else does, because there's always someone that like comes up with some crazy idea, and you're like, that mod doesn't... Who uses this mod? And it's like, oh, but in this combination of things. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what are you guys doing, to, and what else we can do to make this just crazier than what it already is. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed these two mods in combination. Now, you can use without them, but... Uh, separately, but I think combo wise, especially if you're going to go in melee, just makes so much sense. And something with like an Amprex, um, something that's getting a large area too, just works so well together. But like I said, hope you guys enjoy it. My name is The Legend Greatness. Try for greatness and everything you guys do. I will catch you guys next time. Peace!